Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And when we left off, we would just we just got to uh, Nassau and we were exploring this place trying to get all the stuff that was around this area. Um, so, yeah, I, it's my window's open because it's really fucking hot and I don't feel like recording with it closed. Um, so fucking deal with it. Um, anyways... We're gonna. I don't think. I don't think you can hear much. And if you can, it'll probably just like a like a minor buzzing sound in the background, most likely, um, or just the, uh, just like an occasional. <sighs> that kind of thing. Anyways, we're gonna grab this chest. I'm gonna try and do everything we can to complete this entire map 100% because I want it finished. Um, there's only seven viewpoints in Nassau, so that shouldn't take too, too long. It's kind of not the the largest place in Assassin's Creed 4, so, um, I believe, is it Kingston that's the largest, and then Havana, then Nassau, it might be that way around. Um, but obviously then we've got the entirety of the West Indies. And why does this game have a really dodgy motion blur when you turn the fucking thing? It's, I hate that. Why is that a thing? Why can't you, why, why doesn't the Xbox give you an option to turn that off? Because not everyone wants to play with a motion blur on when you turn the game. It's very distracting, I don't know. Some people probably like it, but personally I don't like playing with motion blur on. I feel like it's just, it's just irritating. Like, I don't mind depth of field. Depth of field's good. Motion blur is annoying. I mean, there's not too much of it in this game, so it's not too bad actually, but still. It's just, I think it's just their way of going, look, this game's on next gen, we have motion blur. I don't know what the point is, but you know. Up we go. You know, when this game first came out, I didn't notice the difference between 360 and Xbox One. I was kind of like, it looks fine on 360. I don't know why, what the point is in buying an Xbox One, because it's like, it doesn't look, it doesn't even look that much better. And then I, like, played it for myself, and I'm like, whoa, it looks so much better, what the fuck? Um, but still, I don't see the point in... In waiting like another week just to get it on the Xbox One when it was released, um, than just buying the normal copy on the previous gen. Like there's there's genuinely just no point because I don't really care about graphics too much, and I wanted it the day, like the day it came out. I didn't want to wait another week to play AC4. Like, what the fuck, man? There we go. We've got an animus fragment there. You know the most annoying thing is to collect the fucking sea shanties. It's so fucking annoying. Oh my lord, what the fuck was that? Okay. Okay, so when we do the viewpoint here, we'll go ahead and do, the, do this thing. This game went back to the old kind of style of Assassin's Creed and took out the whole walking around also unfogs the map thing. Because there's there's no... None of that in this game. None of it. It's, does, it's not even any of it. But it does, does have the viewpoints, obviously, because they're, they're using it in all AC games. All AC games. However... The weird thing is that Ubisoft, for some reason, like to take features they've put into games and put them into other games. So, they made the viewpoint system in Assassin's Creed 1 and then implemented it into every Ubisoft game made from that point onwards. So, every Ubisoft game nowadays has a viewpoint system in it. Far Cry, Watch Dogs, The Division will probably fucking have one. Um, what other games are made by Ubisoft? Um, fuck, I can't think of any. Um... Fuck me, that was close. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Lol. Okay, right, we're all good. Come on, bitch. Wanna take all the stuff from your fucking hideout, bitch? Yeah, take that in your fucking head. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a thing. There's one down here. Oh, really? We'll get that afterwards. But after we've got everything inside of the fort, I think. Um. There's only like that. Thi oh, okay. I guess that's down a bit. Unless, of course, that is literally like all the way down a bit. And then maybe the chest is the same. Because the chest's like over here, and I don't think we can get to that from the point that we're at. Because it's kind of like, we're too high up still. Maybe the chest is underground with the rest of the things. Maybe there's like a cave. That could be a thing. However. 
I'm not entirely sure. That is a very loud fucking engine. Shut the fuck up. Uh, right. Anyways, let's. Okay, we'll, we'll go get this this uh, this thing. This I don't even know what it, uh, what is it? A fragment, an animal's fragment. We'll grab the animal's fragment. Then, fucking hell. Um, that should be. Oh. Oh, we made it. That was way lower down than I expected it to be. Um, okay. Okay. Well, we had the same grunting sound as Altair. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, shit. This game really should have a stalking mode. Like, why doesn't it? Why was an Assassin's Creed made with a stalking mode? Although, I suppose Assassin's Creed was the idea of social stealth. So when the, when you go to AC3, maybe they should have they should have added in the whole stalking system. Because that makes sense for AC3 to have that. Because it's more of an open area. Then it should have also been implemented into this game. And then obviously just carried on throughout the series from that point. But I understand, I guess, why it didn't from the beginning, to be honest. Um, where the fuck are we meant to fucking go? I don't get it. Um... I mean, there's a cave, yeah, but it doesn't take us to the rest of the stuff that we need to get. So I guess we just keep going round. No, I'm not fucking swimming that way. Um, right, hold on. Are we on the same level as everything now? We are. So did we get that manuscript? I don't know what was in the chair. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, why is that over all over there? Uh, right, so we want to get to that. Well, actually, I'll hit on that first. So we go get that, and then we'll run around and grab the other thing as well. There also should have been horses in this game, just saying. Like, I don't understand why there's not horses in this game. There hasn't been horses in an AC game since AC3. Come on, we want horses back. Come on. Horses. I mean, there's horse and cart in AC Syndicate. Don't know why there's not just normal horses. Seems like pretty logical to have them in, but no, there's not. So, you know, we'll have to live with that. Um, I just... I want... I love horses. I love every kind of horse. I just want to hug them all, but I can't. Can't can't hug every horse. I am a horse lover, and I love to run. Sorry, I'm thinking about horses again. <laughs> Where the fuck is? Ah, I see. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Hold on. Let's have a look now. Where are we? Aha! This is that door that I saw right at the very fucking beginning. I mean, I didn't say anything about it, but I remember I remember seeing it. I remember thinking, oh, look, there's a, there's a door and a light over there. It's completely useless, but it wasn't completely useless because it was where this thing was hiding. Yay! Nassau chests. Eight out of 22. We're going to have so much fucking loot when we're done with this. We're going to be the richest pirate in the West Indies. Um, it's going to be fantastic. I need to go grab that animus fragment. So we're going to have to we're going to have to break back into this 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 fortress here um, to grab the animus fragment. I love this music. That sounds like rogue. Oh, that's because Rogue is AC2 combined with AC4 music. I just fucking realised that. Oh, shit. Up we go. It's beautiful, actually. Um, right, okay. Right, we're meant to go. Sorry, I've got an itchy arm. Uh, right, okay. This way. Whee! I guess we'll go all the way around the building again, just to... Okay, sure, of course we do. Back up we go. This game has a lot of kind of backtracking and doing the same things over and over again, because to get one thing, you have to climb all the way up and go one way, then to get another thing, you have to climb all the way up and go a different way. So it's kind of like, you have to do a lot of different things. Okay, I don't know where the fuck I was going with that, I was just making a point. Um, Let's keep going around this building and then up here. Hey, you know, I'm happy the guy hasn't for some reason respawned. That makes me happy. 
Okay. There we go. We did it. Now we run around here and we grab that wee splosh. I'm not going to cash and loot any courier while I'm fucking up here. Okay. I don't understand why... Oh, God. Why they're called assassin contracts. I'm not a fucking assassin yet. Yay! Okay, so we want to go to the next viewpoint, I guess. Oh no, there's a shanty over there. We'll go grab that. After we've done the um, collectibles, then I'll go and do the assassin contract and all the missions. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, actually, the only missions in this game are assassin contracts. Now I think about it, the side quests are very fucking sparse in this game. Oh, that was beautiful! How wow! Wow, normally they fly away like crazy, but that was that was some pro skills right there. Right, next viewpoint. Cat there. Hello, little pussy cat. What's up, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it what's new, pussy cat? What, what are you eating, pussy cat? Come back. Don't don't hurt me. No, they put those claws away. Ah, I didn't mean to invade your personal space. Right. Is it something on top of that? Oh, look, there's a lovely animus fragment on top of that. What do you get for collecting all the animus fragments in this game? Because I haven't yet done it, so I don't know. I mean, for Revelations, it was the Desmond story thing. Um, in AC3, I don't think they had anything of use because the game was a bit shit. Um, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even remember there being fragments in AC3. What was there in AC3? There was, there was Peg Legs trinkets. Although this game has a fuck ton of collectibles. As does AC um, Rogue, but I think they have way more use in AC Rogue. Like, I mean, this has the shanties, which are useful. Um, and then nothing else seems to be useful, although there are obviously the treasure maps. And where the fuck is this? Fuck. Don't fuck me over like this. I hate these ones where they're like fucking underground and shit. What the fuck, man? Is it inside the fucking church? What? I can hear it fucking jingling. It's going jingle, jingle, jingle. I'm a fucking chest. Come get me. Where is it? Oh, there's a shiny up there. We'll go grab that first. Come here, you bitch face. Oh, we got it. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, some of the chests in this game really do piss me off. Because some of them are, like, underground. And you don't know how to fucking get to them. You have to go all the way over the other side of the fucking map. Just to find the passage that leads to the underground area. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, maybe it's down here somewhere. The music is helping me get through this. Um, right. Let's just keep going around. Keep going around. Genuinely can't fucking find it. Like, how do we fucking get to it? What the fuck? Down here? Nope. This way. Ha! I found it. Get wrecked, noobs. Is there anything else down there while I'm down there? Don't think so. Okay, so back out we go. Oh, there's another entrance here. Okay, let's check the map. Um, we'll go back up here because we're only going to be going back down again. So we might as well go back up to grab that last one. Um, then we'll head back down and grab all the other shit. <sighs> oh, still didn't manage to form that leap of faith. I've tried that twice now and I still haven't done it. I will eventually. Um, but whatever, you know. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Uh, we'll go down here and collect this chest, and then there's another chest over there near the next viewpoint that I want to do, so perfect. Oh, shit me. Whee! I feel, you know, I because I'm doing this 100%, I know I have to do all the collectibles, but I just feel bad that I'm spending, like, an entire of your guys' like time, like, half an hour of your lives, 
of you you're just watching me running around picking things up like i is that not really fucking boring like, i know a lot of you guys did actually ask me to do this but like what the fuck is it not boring i um let's grab this one over here oh shit and also by the way um while I'm recording these, like, in, while I'm recording these, I can't, like, read the comments sort of live kind of thing. So, normally I'll upload a part, read the comments for that part, record the next part kind of thing, and I'll get your feedback. But for this, there's probably going to be, like, I think it's probably going to be about 30 or something episodes of this uh, before I start reading any of the comments from episode one. So, I mean, I'll read them as they come out, but, I mean, like, it'll probably be, like, I'll record episode 32, and I'll be like, okay, so I got your comments from episode, episode like, one, because I... I won't, like, because I'm going to be away for, like, a month. So, these are all pre-recorded. So, yeah, just to, just to reiterate that again. Uh, right, where are we going now? Okay, next viewpoint. Whoa, what the fuck? My, that fuck with my head there. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to see how a proper man loves a woman. I don't give a shit. What the fuck? How do to fucking do this? There we go. I love Edward's outfit. Something about it is so cool. I just really like it. Can we climb this? There we go. Up here. Over to here. And then synchronize. Fuck knows why I did that. Um, Wee! Splush. Okay, right, I just, I stopped recording and went to get something to eat, and now it's night time. Okay, so, when we left off, well, I mean, it's not going to be for you, because this is, you know, whatever. Uh, let's go get these different things. It's not under here, is it? No, no, fucking way. It's above, I think. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell, Edward. Stop fucking about, mate. Up here. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, is it up there? Hold on. I shall go up. We shall find it. Let's go. Ah, it is up there. Shit, we didn't get it when we were up there the first fucking time. Damn. I feel like it's going to be louder outside now. I can just hear cars everywhere. Um, But, you know, whatever. Your life. Okay, up we go. There we go. Hello. You, the shanty. Then we'll go and get anything else in the area. What else? What have we done? What else have we got? Hmm. We have one more shanty left to grab. Come on. Come on. Come on. How the fuck do you seem to have fucking cloth? Stop there. Bastard, bastard. Well, that was, um... That was great. Good job. There we go. We have got the next bit of loot. So, uh, what now? I guess we'll go down here and do the next viewpoint over here. Which appears to be a massive tower. Either that or it's a tree. I can't really tell. But it's definitely this way. Uh, then we'll do the stuff in this area. And then the next area. What are, what are we... Okay, so we've got all the song sheets. Almost got all the fragments. Uh, we're about there with the secrets. Uh, well, there's not that many, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're about halfway there with the viewpoints as well. Just, we're over halfway, to be honest. We've got three more to go. Um, oh, there's a chest down here. want to grab that ASAP. We have loads of fucking reals now. Cannot wait to get to um, the that island where you can upgrade it. It's kind of like your hideout. I can't wait to get there and just invest all our money in that place. And just end up getting a shit ton of income. That's how you get income, right? You, you upgrade that place and it get, gets you income. Yeah, I'm sure that's right. I'm, I'm sure that... I think so. Is that how it works? Fuck, I don't actually know. I, I forget. You get income down in the... 
inside the shit when you're grave place, isn't it? It's like, that's how it works in Rogue anyway. Okay, now I'm not sure I've got that right. I'm confused now. Well, anyways, we'll find out. We'll find out. It'll tell us. Um, right, okay, up to the top. There we go. We'll go get that little uh, animus fragment over to the right. Not sure where this leaf of faith is going to take us. I feel like it's going to take us... Oh, just, just there. Okay, that's fine. Hop out and grab the animus fragment. Go back here and grab that manuscript. Because manuscripts are swag. Swog. Swog. It's swog. Um, right. There we go. No full damage because of that. Come on, then. Took him a while to notice it was me. Lol. There we go. Grab the manuscript. And then we'll loot these guys just because ammo's... Oh, we have full ammo. Fuck knows where I got full ammo from. What the hell? Okay. Uh, right, let's grab. Open this up. Oh, shit. I closed out of it. Right. There's a chest over here. Oh, then perfect. The next animus fragment is over here, just near the new next viewpoint. Oh, wait, there was another chest. I did I did actually just see another chest before I closed that. So we'll, we'll grab that before we get the animus fragment. Do, 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 do. Can't wait until we actually get into the open world and we start exploring the place. We'll be rich, though. We're going to be so rich. We're going to upgrade our ship so fucking much. Right. Boom. Okay, that next uh, thing is just down here. Beautiful. Let's go. We're going to have to swim to get here, aren't we? Are we? I don't know. I wasn't looking at the map properly. I think we are. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, oh we can take the rocks. We can try and take the rocks there. Ah, oh, perfect. We did it. God, that is a loud fucking car traffic thing. Jesus tits. Okay. Across the rocks again. Homeward bound. Right, let's go over here, grab this animus fragment. Do we have to upgrade that? Purchase upgrades for Jackdaw. No, 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 it's just Jackdaw upgrades. Okay. Over to this animus fragment. Then to the next viewpoint. We are proing this up. We're doing a good job. We're doing a fantastic job. We could stop here and get some upgrades, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to wait till later. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Well, those guards didn't see me jump, fucking jump in. Jesus. Where do you think you're going? There are better ways to waste my time. Turn around. Oh, wait. Here we go. There we go. Okay, now where to? Viewpoint over here. Okay, we should probably try and navigate through here without being detected. Um, I'm going to try my best. Oh, shit. There we go. And we fucking made it. Sweet. Okay. Next viewpoint we go, which is up here. This kind of reminds me of like one off of Assassin's Creed 1. You know, when you first exit Masyaf and you go into the kingdom and then there's this, there's like a building that looks just like this. Kind of there just to like to the left. You know, I, I haven't played AC1 since 2013. Wow, it's been two years since I've played Assassin's Creed 1. I think we need a replay through of that game on this channel because the last time I played it, was a long time ago. It's not a good Let's Play. Um, the last time I played it was 2013. Uh, the last time I Let's Played it was 2012. So it has been a while since I've Let's Played that game on this channel. And I've redone all of the Let's Plays because I didn't think they were quite good enough. Um, so I'd say we should go through and maybe try and do 100% completion of Assassin's Creed 1. What do you guys think to that? Do you guys think that's a cool idea? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Because I actually really do like Assassin's Creed 1. And I want to know whether you guys would enjoy a Let's Play that. Um, because I'd actually, I'd actually personally love to do a Let's Play of AC1. I haven't played it in such a long time. It'd be so much fun to do. Um, and like, it's kind of like, 
we can we can take our time with it and have a really good sort of time like doing everything really stealthy and trying to like do different things and like do all the side quests and everything. That'd be quite fun actually, I think. I'd, I'd quite enjoy that. Um, but I don't know. Because I was going to do live streams, play every Assassin's Creed before Syndicate comes out. Um, probably not including Unity, although I might do Unity. Um, I'll probably play all of the games like up to Rogue, then I'll play Unity. Or I might not, and I might just do... Um... Oh, shit. I, d I, didn't, I, was, I wasn't concentrating on what we are doing, and now we've accidentally gone up to another viewpoint. I might as well do this viewpoint while I'm here. There's no point in not. Right, here we go. Viewpoint done. Let me just check the map. Oh, I can't check the map. We're doing viewpoints in this game. What is this? What kind of Assassin's Creed game is this? Okay. Okay. Oh, I've done all of the viewpoints now. Okay, sweet. Okay, so... All we've got to do is clean up all of the loose ends on the map now, and then we'll be done. So we'll, go to, we'll get the manuscript, I think, um, which is probably quite useful. Um, ah, fuck it, we'll just fight everyone. Fuck this. There you go. Screw you. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Okay, we used... Oh, I didn't even have my guns reloaded. Shit. Like, now I'm... I managed to put my fucking swords away. Okay, there we go. We didn't even need the guns in the end anyway. There we go. Right. Pick up this manuscript. It's been, it's been a long time since we had a fight. I mean, that's my that's my reasoning behind fighting there. Uh, we should. Uh, we, there's another chest up here, isn't there? Okay, we'll have to get that one. But I'll, oh, there's shit. There's ones over here as well. Right, we'll do everything at the bottom of the map first. So we'll grab. We'll go get this. Then I think we'll go into here. Grab this. We'll come back out. Grab this one. Grab the manuscript. Then we'll head up to the top of the map. Do stuff on the left. Do stuff on the right. Okay, we've got this. We have got this. Then once we've done that, we'll do the assassin contracts. And then we'll move on and do the next main quest. And then we'll be all good. We'll be all good. So that'll be great. Do do the assassin contracts have a full sync thing? Because if they do, then I'm going to have to go and stab somebody. Because that's just annoying. I think I think that's... You know what? I genuinely think the full sync thing. like Where it's like, you, this is an optional objective. I think I should take that out of the game. I, don't, I Genuinely, it was good in Brotherhood. Um, it's kind of like a good new feature, but I don't like it anymore. I'd, I'd rather we just didn't have it, because you can play the game however you want and still do it 100%, like, complete the game, like, do a like, 100% completionist thing without having to replay missions over and over again to get some stupid objective that really isn't necessary. Like, genuinely, they should just take that out in Syndicate. I don't want fucking optional objectives. I fucking hate them. Like, we just need... They just need to get rid of them. Just, no. They're, they're completely unfucking necessary. Right. Let's... Ooh. Let's get up there. Okay. I got this. Wait, is this the way? Is this the way? It's probably not. No, it's not. Oh, shit. Right. Hang on. How do we get up there? Oh, wait. Hold on. We've got to go through, like, one of these really long, jumpy... Th wait. No? Hold on. Got to get on that tree. Got to get on that tree. Okay, we'll get on this tree first. Fucking tree climbing. Thanks, AC3, for introducing this. F thank you. Yes, yeah, definitely fucking necessary. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so aggressive. Um... Oh god! Oh fuck, I thought I like, jumped into nothing then. I was like, but that doesn't happen in this game because they've got a special mechanic so that you don't randomly jump. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we did that. Now, time to go grab this chest down here. I genuinely thought this area was like a, um... A, what they called... Like a jungly area. I mean, it kind of is. It's like a swamp. But I meant like, you know, like where you get those random areas that are kind of just jungles in this game. And it's like you have to navigate your way through it kind of thing. I thought it was one of those, but it's not. So thank God, because those are so annoying. Under here. Whee. Okay. I go round here. You know what? Yeah, it's probably worth using one of those to just get back to the ship. When we do, that's not actually one of them, is that's just a crash boat. But to get back to the ship once we've done this, because we need to get back up to the top of the map anyway. So, you know. Okay, so it's 19 out of 22. Only three more chests left to go. Uh, let's go and grab this manuscript down here. Whee! Oh, look, birds. Okay, go grab that one over there. You know, something that I really love to do on the channel is let's play all of the Saints Row games. I think that'd be great fun. We do, like, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and then possibly the... Oh, fuck! What the fuck? They just fucking materialized. No! Just trying to reload. Oh, God. 
Hey! Oh shit, fucking hell, there we go. Okay, let's, you know what, let's fucking reload this gun. But if we turn and fly, does it almost feel like we will never fall? And if we unite, we can take this fight straight to the castle wall. 